Okay, so let's have a quick UV mapping exercise here in Maya. So I am just on my workspace modeling standard mode. I'll turn on my outliner and then I will be using the following assets that I have. I have these OBJ and JPEG texture. Those are the only two things that I'll be using. I will copy my folder location so that when I go now to Maya, I'll go to File and I'll choose Import. I can easily paste the address here. Paste, Enter. So now I have them. I'll just choose Barrel OBJ and I'll choose Import. Then from here, I can just set my camera or my viewport a little. Then select this, Control H to hide those objects that I don't need yet. Then I will go to my, make sure you're in the modeling mode menu, go to UV, then UV editor. In the UV editor, you can drag this. Let's just resize it a bit. You can drag this along here, there. You can dock it there, and then you can just resize so that you have an equal view of your UV editor and your viewport moving this or panning the uv is just panning the uv editor is just alt middle mouse and drag you can use the scroll to zoom in so now let's select our object so there is no uv information yet so the quickest way is just select via object mode go to your create uv in the uv editor and then just choose automatic so it automatically creates UV shells for you. Then, switch to your polygon or face UV selection. Double click on the UVs that are already complete. In the case of this, the top and bottom are already complete. That means all of the polygons there have been UV'd. Then I'll just switch to the move tool, W, and then I'll drag up here. Now, the next thing is I will select the front polygons. So I will be guided by the view cube. So this is the front view. So if I will slightly tilt the camera angle, so that's the front polygons, I can select them here. So all of the front polygons have been selected. I can deselect from the UV editor holding control, deselect those that I don't need. For example, the top and bottom because they are all, they are already finished. And then I can just do a simple shift, right click, mapping, normal face mapping. I will now just repeat that to the left over or the UVs that are just still remaining here. I will select this, shift, right click, mapping, normal base mapping. So now this means these are the back facing polygon. And on the left or on my left are the front facing polygons. Then I will just switch to my edge selection. Then I'll double click this. So when you click that, the corresponding edge is also selected from the original one whole UV shell. So I will just double click this to select the loop. Hold control to deselect the edges that we don't need. And then I will just do another shift right click and I will choose this time stitch together overlapping UVs should not be allowed polygon selection or polygon UV selection double click that shift right click and then I will just choose unfold so now it will unfold the UVs now this UVs should be straightened so that it could be laid out properly shift right click straighten uvs there now i will just look at my object once more so this po polygons are supposed to be horizontal horizontally oriented so i can just select e and then rotate this properly and then i can select now all of my uvs shift right click and then i can choose layout layout uvs so now they are properly laid out. Now I have a finished UV information of my barrel. I can now save this by going to file 
export the selected and then I can just paste that again to the same folder location and then this time I will rename this barrel but this time I will include UVM or UV map and then I will set it as an OBJ object export export the selection so now I have a barrel with UV information another way is I can select this and then I can also save this UVs image later now what I can do is I can shift H bring out these barrels with no UV information and now I can delete them and then later on I can go to file import and I can use this barrel UV map OBJs import it to the scene and there it is W I'll just move it into a different position so here is the other one and I can hold shift click and drag to copy for another one so as you can see here now I all of the UVs that I have I'm uh, sorry all of the barrels that I have have UV information so on the next step we will add textures onto these objects. See you.